in this lecture we will discuss about single phase half bridge inverter with the rl load that is resistive inductive load a single phase half bridge inverter consists of two thyristors t1 t2 and two diodes t1 t2 the diode t1 is connected in anti parallel with the thyristor t1 and the diode t2 is connected connected in anti parallel with the thyristor t2 also the circuit require a three wire supply the source voltage is vs by 2 the source voltage is a dc voltage if our load is a resistive load if our load is a resistive load when we turn on t1 the load voltage is equal to plus vs by 2 and when we turn on t2 when we turn on thyristor t2 the load voltage is equal to minus vs by 2 if our load is resistive load the current load current output current is in phase with the i node current is the load current which is in phase with the output voltage but here our load is a resistive inductive load so the inductor does not allow sudden change in current so there is a lag in the output voltage from the output current sorry there is a lag in the output vol output current from the output voltage the current takes some time to build up due to the nature of the load okay let us discuss the working of the single phase half bridge inverter okay at the instant t equal to 0 at the instant t equal to 0 we are giving firing pulse to thyristor t1 before t equal to 0 instant before t equal to 0 instant the thyristor t2 we are giving firing pulse to the thyristor T2, thyristor T2 in its in operating condition or on condition at that time the load volt load voltage is equal to minus V is by 2. At that time the voltage is equal to minus V V is by 2. Here when T2 is in on condition, when T2 is in on condition, the positive voltage is coming here and negative voltage is coming here. So therefore the voltage across the load is minus vs by 2 before t equal to 0 minus vs by 2 and the current is also negative the current is also the current this is the conventional current direction when t2 is in on state the current is opposite to the conventional current direction so therefore our current is a negative current okay at t equal to 0 instant the current reaches its maximum value that is minus I know at t equal to 0 instant the current reaches its maximum the output current I know reaches its maximum that is minus I know after t equal to 0 or at t equal to 0 instant or at t equal to 0 instant we are forcefully turn off t2 and we are giving firing pulse to thyristor t1 at t equal to 0 instant we are giving firing pulse to thyristor t1 and we are forcefully turn off the thyristor t2 okay then what happens the current current suddenly becomes to its positive voltage therefore the polarity will become plus minus but due to the nature of the load current Current cannot changes its current cannot changes its direction. Current continue to flow in the current continue to flow in the same current continues to flow in the same direction. Therefore, therefore what happens? Therefore the diode D1 due to the flow of this current due to the polarity reverse due to this polarity plus and minus the diode d1 become in its forward biased condition and current and current continues to flow through this diode t1 current continues to flow through this diode t1 and back to supply okay then Then for a short duration of time, the current
current flows through the diode D1 and at a particular time at a particular time t current decays to zero. At that at that time the thyristor T1 turns on due to the voltage drop across the diode D1 the T1 T1 emits in T1 continue in exit of of state even even if the even if the gate signal is given to thyristor T1 due to the voltage drop across the uh, diode D1 T1 continue in its off state at a particular time the current flowing through the diode D1 or current flowing through the load diode load RL load equal to zero at that time the thyristor T1 turns on and the and the current flows through thyristor T1 through load and source Vs by to upper source Vs by 2. Okay. During that condition, the output voltage is equal to positive and current is equal to positive. Again at omega, t, uh, again at time, small t, capital T by 2 instant, capital T by 2 instant, we are forcefully turned off T1 and we will give firing pulse to thyristor T2. At this instant, T by 2 instant, we are turned off T1 and we will turn on T2. But due to the again, but due to the inductive effect, the current has a tendency tendency to continue in its continue in its state. So there is a change in polarity. Then the polarity when T1 turns off and T2 turn on, there is a change in polarity. Here it is plus and here it is minus there is a change in polarity okay then what happens the diode d2 will become forward biased the diode d2 will become forward biased and current continues to flow through the diode d2 diode d2 load and the source okay then at a particular instant t equal to zero the current flowing through the diode d2 will equal to zero Therefore, at that particular time, the thyristor T2 turns on, then the, then the current flows through the load, source, load, thyristor T2, and back to source. This is the current path. At that time, the voltage is negative minus Vs by 2, and current is also negative. Negative. And the cycle repeats okay this is the working of a single phase half bridge inverter with the rl load due to the presence of this induct inductance in the load circuit the load has a tendency to uh, the load has a the load stores energy due to the presence of this inductance present in the load circuit the inductance stores some energy inductance stores some energy and Whenever the whenever the source voltage or whenever the voltage changes due to the presence of the inductor, the current cannot change its direction immediately. So there is a lag in the output load current. Okay. That energy stored in the inductor flows to the diode okay due to the voltage drop in the diode d1 the thyristors will not turn on suddenly when we give the firing pulse okay i will explain once again a single phase half bridge inverter consists of the two thyristors and two diode and a three wire supply at t equal to zero instant we are giving firing pulse to thyristor t1 but due to the nature of the load the t1 will not turn on suddenly because a small amount of energy is stored in the inductor before during the previous time time duration that is before t equal to zero interval before t equal to zero interval before t equal to zero interval t2 is in the conduction state that is a T2 in its in the conduction state. 
therefore the current direction is here it is plus here it is minus during the t2 conduction mode the voltage polarity is here positive and here negative and it is the negative vs by 2 so voltage minus vs by 2 and the current is also in the opposite direction the current is also in the opposite direction at t equal to 0 instant the current will reach its maximum value that is minus i naught and we are giving fire impulse to thyristor t1 we are giving fire impulse to thyristor t1 the polarity suddenly reverses polarity suddenly reverses that is plus minus the black color is for t1 polarity and red color is for t2 polarity okay when we turn off T1 and turn on T1, turn off T2 and turn on T1, the polarity across the load reverses. Here it is plus, here it is negative. But the current cannot change its direction immediately due to the nature of the load. Current continue in its continue in its conduction. Current will continue in its conduction state through the diode D1. The direction of current continue continue through the diode t1 at a particular instant t equal to the particular instant small t equal a small t less than capital t by 2 the current will current equal to zero current will be equal to zero current going through the diode d1 is equal to zero at that time the thyristor t1 turns on thyristor t1 turns on then the current conduction transfers from d1 to t1 and current output current continues to flow through the thyristor t1 load and back to source okay this is the current direction so the current direction is positive at t equal to small t equal to capital t by 2 instant we are giving fire impulse to t2 and we are turn off t1 Okay, so due to the nature of the load, the current direction continue continue in the same state, but D2. There, polar, there is a reverse in the polarity plus minus. D2 is in conduction, here it is positive, here it is negative. Okay, and due to this change in polarity, the current continue, continue the current direction, current flow continue in the same direction through the diode D. 2 okay through the diode through the diode t 2 at a particular instant small t small t less than capital t the current diode current d2 current is equal to 0 at that particular time the thyristor t2 turns on then the current direction reverses okay the voltage is negative Whenever we turn on the thyristor T1 or T2, then thyristor T1 is in on condition, the voltage is positive. When thyristor T2 turns on, the voltage is equal to negative minus Vs by 2. But there is a slight change in the current direction due to the nature of the load. This is about single phase half bridge inverter with the RL load. When the diode Conducts the energy is feed back to the DC source. So these diodes are known as feedback diode. When current in, in single phase half bridge inverter with the RL load, the current I naught will not will not be in phase with the voltage V naught. I naught is in is is not in phase with the output voltage V naught and diode can Diode connecting and the parallel to thyristor will allow the current to flow when the main thyristor is out of current off state. As the energy is fed back to the DC source, when these diodes are conducting, when these diodes are conducting, the energy stored in the inductor is fed back to the DC source. So these diodes are known as feedback diodes. So these diodes D1 and D2 are known as feedback diodes.